Today we're taking a look at the Memphis Grizzlies vs. San Antonio Spurs match, which is happening on Wednesday, May 19, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. And if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out my Patreon in the link down below. My new Patreon is a way for me to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. Spurs clinched a play in berth and will be relying on their interesting combination of lanky wing players to propel them to a surprise playoff appearance. The San Antonio Spurs have been in poor form lately and they will be low on confidence after dropping 10 of their last 12 games of the season. DeMar DeRozan led the team with averages of 21.6 points and 6.9 assists per game, Dejounte Murray averaged 15.7 points, 7.1 rebounds and 5.4 assists per game, while Keldon Johnson averaged 12.8 points and 6.0 rebounds per game. As a team, the Spurs averaged 111.1 points per game while shooting 46.2% from the field and 35.0% from the three-point line but there was only so far they could go with two of their best players missing the majority of the season in Derek White and LaMarcus Aldridge. They have one of the best half-court defenses in the league for cleaning the glass. And Popovich has this group playing disciplined as per usual, which means limiting turnovers. This allows the Spurs to get into their offense. And to Popovich's credit, almost 82% of the Spurs' plays come out of the half-court. Simply put, no matter how unimpressed you are with the Spurs' personnel, it is clear that they've been prepared well for postseason, sort of, basketball. Memphis has been everything you could expect in year two of the John Morant experience. The Grizzlies have clawed their way into the play-in tournament with Morant shooting less efficiently but taking on an even larger share of the offense. Players like Dylan Brooks, Grayson Allen, and Jonas Valanciunas have turned in career best seasons for second-year Grizzlies head coach Taylor Jenkins. The occasional offensive outburst is needed from one of these players against the toughest competition. The Memphis Grizzlies are coming into this one with plenty of momentum as they won six of their last eight games of the regular season to earn themselves a spot in the play-in tournament. John Morant led the team with averages of 19.1 points and 7.4 assists per game. Dylan Brooks averaged 17.2 points per game. Jonas Valanciunas averaged 17.1 points and 8.4 rebounds per game while Kyle Anderson averaged 12.4 points, 5.7 rebounds and 3.6 assists per game. As a team, the Grizzlies scored 111.3 points per game while shooting 46.7% from the field and 35.6% from the three-point line. Yaron Jackson Jr. missed all but 11 games this season, but he could play a key role in this matchup against the shorthanded Spurs. While Memphis is by no means one of the more efficient offenses, the Grizzlies do possess an innate ability to get offensive rebounds and oh-so-valuable second-chance points in the half-court. This will bode well for the Grizz if they can muck up their games in the play-in tournament. On the injury front, defensive ace Derek White and big man Luka Semanic are still out indefinitely. Meanwhile, forward Trey Lyles has been dealing with a nagging sprained right ankle injury. The 25-year-old has been a solid 10th 11th man all season, but he's taken on a much greater role since San Antonio let go of LaMarcus Aldridge. The San Antonio Spurs have been hit or miss all season long, and they ended the regular season with four straight losses, and they're losing their last five games by an average of 6.8 points while allowing 51.4% shooting from the field. The Memphis Grizzlies have won six of their last eight games, and they're winning their last five games by an average of 5.8 points, 
the Grizzlies comfortably beat the Spurs twice under the 2021 year. The Spurs just don't feel like a playoff team right now. If the Spurs can't get a healthy Lyles for the play-in, expect DeMar DeRozan to play a ton of minutes and to see a lot more of Drew Eubanks. The Spurs style of play helped them to a solid record against the spread, ATS. And just like it did in the regular season, their ability to limit mistakes will make them an intriguing team to bet on. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Memphis Grizzlies minus 3.5. Memphis will be best served to play a slow paced, besides more transition attacks, and grind it out style in the play in. Yaron Jackson Jr. has been solid since his return, providing a much needed rim protector and some scoring punch off after missing the first 56 games due to recovery from his torn meniscus. Jenkins' ability to rely on Jackson for a bigger minutes load in the postseason will be the top factor for potential Memphis betters to watch out for. The Spurs are 14-6-1 ATS in their last 21 road games, 2-5-1 ATS in their last 8 games against a team with a winning record and 4-0 ATS in their last 4 games playing on 2 days rest. The Grizzlies are 1-4 ATS in their last 5 home games, 1-4 ATS in their last 5 games against a team with a losing record and 1-4 ATS in their last 5 games overall. Head to head, the over is 4-1 in the last 5 meetings in Memphis and the over is 5-1 in the last 6 meetings overall. The Spurs are coming into the play-in tournament as the coldest team as they've won just 2 of their last 12 games overall and I'm not sure how confident they can be against a Grizzlies team who have beaten them by double digits in the last 2 meetings. DeRozan needs to have a massive game while other players like Johnson and Mills have to chip in. The Grizzlies have been one of the best teams in the NBA against the spread, ATS, this season. At this point, they're very used to overcoming Vegas expectations, but they may have too much to overcome in the NBA play-in. The Memphis Grizzlies are averaging 113.3 points on 46.7% shooting and allowing 112.3 points on 46.2% shooting. Ja Morant is averaging 19.1 points and 7.4 assists while Dylan Brooks is averaging 17.2 points and 2.9 rebounds. Jonas Valanciunas is the third double-digit scorer and Yaron Jackson Jr. is grabbing 5.6 rebounds. The Memphis Grizzlies are shooting 35.6% from beyond the arc and 77.1% from the free throw line. The Memphis Grizzlies are allowing 36.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 46.5 rebounds per game. DeMar DeRozan is averaging 21.6 points and 4.2 rebounds while DeJounte Murray is averaging 15.7 points and 7.1 rebounds. Derek White is the third double-digit scorer and Keldon Johnson is dishing 1.8 assists. The San Antonio Spurs are shooting 35% from beyond the arc and 79.2% from the free throw line. The San Antonio Spurs are allowing 37.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.9 rebounds per game. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.